Got on the line right now, Lee Stranahan, one of our lead investigative reporters here at Breitbart News. He is joining us live from Twin Falls, Idaho, where he has been reporting for the for the last couple of weeks uh, on this, this really astounding case of a five-year-old girl who was brutally raped by uh, a, a group of refugees. Uh, uh, Lee, can you break down for us what is the latest on, uh, coming out of Twin Falls? Sure. Well, there's been a sort of mini... Uh crime wave here involving refugees. It's not just the uh, the rape of the five-year-old girl by uh, refugee boys that happened on June 2nd. Recently, we also had a another refugee who molested a 33-year-old mentally retarded woman. He, he was arrested for that. And then we had another uh, Eritrean refugee who came back to kill a couple people that he had uh, met in the refugee program. But there's a wider issue, and there's a reason we're here, because, you know, as, as bizarre as some of those crimes are, they really don't make a, a, a national story in and of themselves. And, you know, as horrible as they are, they don't, they don't make a national story. What's going on here is why the refugees have been brought in. And this really gets to the heart of globalism. I don't know how else to put it. They're, they've been brought in, the refugees have been brought in as cheap labor. That's why they're here. They're here to work in the local food processing industry. And so we've had a series of stories about this on Breitbart. Now, the big news recently was the local, one of the great things about Twin Falls is they have a great activist community, number of people, good people here, who've been sounding the alarm about the refugee crisis for some time. They see what's happened in Europe. They see what's happening in Twin Falls. And they're trying to stop it before... What we're seeing in England and France happens in this country. And they've been attacked by the local politicians and the local media. And people were ignoring it. Oh, well, yeah, they're just whining, whatever. But what happened recently, last week, a politician here, former mayor, city councilman, named Greg Lanting. He's on the Twin Falls City Council. Greg Lanting, he actually attacked the family of the five-year-old girl. He actually yeah, and you've got a you've Facebook. got a new exclusive out to uh, 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 where he's actually now uh, walking that back and apologizing. Right, walk us through what he said and now what he's saying now. Well, he he attacked the family and he made mm-hmm. claims about the case that were not true. He claimed that the father of the the victim had nothing to do with her. He claimed we reported exclusively a couple weeks ago in the first video interview with the father ever. Uh, that he had seen 30 seconds of the video of the attack. They videotaped this attack on this five-year-old man. They videotaped it. And he saw uh, about 30 seconds of it. It's all he could stomach. We reported that. Well, this city councilman came out and said, that's not true. The father doesn't have anything to do with it. He was completely wrong. We reported it. We completely vetted that story. We, We reached out to him. We tried to get him to respond. We couldn't. But... As Matt, you know, uh, people don't understand the work that we go through to vet stories, the legal, mm-hmm. everything else that we go through. Right. No, that's and, the and, reason why. That's the reason why Breitbart News has grown the, to the level we are. We've got a, you know, in the last month in in, in July, we had 192 million page views, 31 million unique visitors, uh, uh, unique IP addresses uh, coming to the website. The reason why. The show here, Breitbart News Daily, and our weekend shows uh, on Saturday and Sunday are, are just taking off uh, is because because of that, because of that rigorous fact-checking that we do. We are aggressive about it. Uh, look, we're, we're, we're open in having a point of view, quite clearly, if you look at our yep. website, but we also are rigorous about the facts. We will not put stuff up there just... Because just because we we disagree with somebody, uh, we make sure that we are uh, accurate, really accurately reporting on anything. But go ahead, Lee. No, yeah, no. And look, if, if loving this country is wrong, then I don't want to be right. So, so I mean, that's our point of view. I mean, that's mm-hmm. the thing that's great about Breitbart. We have different right. voices, but we're we're unified in the fact that we care about this country. Right. And so we we vetted this story extensively. But the one thing I didn't have, Matt, and you know how these stories go. It was like the Anthony Weiner story. We had him dead to rights, but until he confessed, it was an open story to some extent, right? Mm -hmm. And it was the same thing with this Lanting situation. We had everything to vet it, but he hadn't confessed. Well, at the city council meeting here in Twin Falls on Monday, he admitted it. He apologized. 
We reported exclusively last night that he personally went to the family and he apologized. But we have another thing coming on that, Matt. He also made a donation to the family. And this is this just tells you the character of these people. They are actually going to take that donation, match it, and not keep the money, but start a new fund for victims here in Twin Falls. This tells you the character of that family. This tells you the character of the people in Twin Falls. They decided they don't want his money. They want to help other people with that money. And so, uh, and, and, and we're going to be kicking in as well to help them set out this victims fund because I think it's just a great move on their part uh, to help other people. Now, the other big story I've got coming this morning on Twin Falls, mm-hmm. and you're not going to believe this, this is a, re- a description of the refugees. Who have they been bringing into Twin Falls? They've had a refugee program for 30 years. But in the past five years, it's been increasingly Muslim refugees from Sudan, from Eritrea, from mm-hmm. Iraq, from you know uh, all these countries. A few from Syria. That's going to increase, right? Mm-hmm. And the local refugee, Idaho refugee agency, it's not a state agency. It's, a, it, it, it's this... It's like a semi-governmental agency, right? No, it's, it's like a, a little bit. Quasi, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, non-governmental yeah, yeah. agency. Yeah, yeah. When you read the descriptions of the refugees from the different countries, they say, you know, people people from Sudan, for instance, don't know the word. They don't understand the concept of no. Does that sound like someone you'd want to hire? I <laughs> just asked it. Right. Because, and when you go when you go over when you read the descriptions. It is unbelievable. But this is the thing, Matt, and you know what's going on. The media has not been reporting on this stuff. They all, literally all I had to do, this is one of the easiest articles I've ever had to write. It was copy, paste, copy, paste. Here's what they say about the refugees. You paste it into an article. It was the easiest thing in the world, and it is horrifying. They talk about if you ask an Afghan, and they brought Afghan refugees into Twin Falls or all around the country, they say, if you bring an Afghan refugee in, don't ask them about their wife because they might want revenge. Oh my right? god! Uh, it's just it's unbelievable. You know, what's so what's the effect, Lee? Like this is the thing that where I think that the the narrative goes from here, where we are today with these stories that you've got, is that the 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 discussion will have, and this is going to happen over the next eighty two days ahead of the United States presidential election, where Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump will face off on November the eighth. I think that the the real question here is is that Twin Falls is almost a case study, and yep, what might exactly. happen to the rest of the country if Hillary Clinton succeeds seeds in bringing in her uh, significant increases uh, in 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 uh, you know in these refugees from especially Muslim countries but elsewhere around the world as well um, in, in places that it's essentially um, you know the implanting uh, of another culture uh, you know into a community uh, that creates a you know essentially a culture clash without the assimilation right like I mean it's just a a, a, a real culture clash here Can, what's the community of Twin Falls going through as this is happening our local uh, locals there uh, businesses uh, families etc are they are, are are they struggling to deal with this issue uh, being essentially forced upon them by the government um, well, uh, you know what's the community feeling right now well up until now they've not been informed uh, one of the great things about what happened with this story about the city councilman is the local TV station actually did good reporting on it they because we did a couple of articles pointing out how their response was just to call the people racist for, for being concerned uh, does that sound familiar does that that's a new trick right so they did what the media does nationally they just and by the way the city council people did that too so you had the politicians and the media accusing the people raising these issues of being racist, which is the only card the left has. It's the only card they have is to play the race card. That's it. And so they were doing that here. But after the city councilman admitted that he'd given incorrect, false information about this family in an ongoing criminal case, that's really important to note. He's a public official. This is an ongoing case, and he's putting false information out there publicly. So he's apologized for that. But the best thing, Matt, is Breitbart, a couple great stories by Michael Patrick Leahy, 
couple great stories. We held the media accountable here. Mm-hmm. And, Matt, we're going to hold the media accountable nationally. I'll tell you another thing we're, we got coming from Twin Falls, illegal immigration. The, it, we are going to expose the mechanics. We have the E-Verify system, right? Mm-hmm. So, in theory, you can't hire anyone illegal. That's mm-hmm. right. That's the theory. We have an investigative report that I'm working on now, multiple sources talking exactly about how the agricultural community here in Twin Falls, and it happens in Twin Falls, but Matt, it's happening across the country. Right. No, 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 no. It's it's everywhere. But again, this is another place where Twin Falls can serve as a case study. I used to actually live a couple hours away. I lived in Boise for a little while uh, while I was in college and, and finishing up high school. Uh, and so, I mean, this is this is actually pretty close, uh, pretty pretty close nearby to where you know I uh, you know a community that I'm fairly close with. And uh, you know, I mean, this is it, it's it's very close to home when this refugee thing is starting to. Uh, impact every uh, you know everyday Americans' lives. People just want to go about their business. They want to raise their family. They want to go to work. They want to uh, you know be you know be able to have fun, etc. They don't want to have to deal with this kind of thing. But when the the you know thanks to our governmental policies of bringing in these people from the third world uh, into the United States and then just implanting them in American communities across the country, um, you know you have to wonder. I mean, uh, uh, not just have to wonder. You know that that little five-year-old girl in Twin Falls, Idaho, would not have been raped if it had not been for the government putting these people there. Um, well, here's the, other, here's mm-hmm. the other thing, Matt. This cannot be stressed enough. It's bad for the refugees. I've been through some of the refugee housing out here. It's, it's not good for the refugees. They're being essentially brought in as cheap labor. And look, we saw this, Matt. You were a vice did a profile on us at the DNC mm-hmm. featuring you. You know, you talked about there, we were the ones uh, defending the Bernie Sanders supporters against Hillary Clinton's. This is one of those areas, Matt, where people, you know, Jeff Sessions has talked about Mm -hmm. immigration is an 80 percent issue. I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican. When people get the facts, they don't like illegal immigration. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't like what's happening with this refugee crisis because, look, this is companies like Chobani Yogurt, Monsanto, Cliff Bar, taking advantage of these refugees, they're bringing them in essentially as indentured servants, right? right? That's what they're as, doing. As an indentured servitude workforce, that's what they view these people, that's what they view people like. This is why the the major companies in the, uh, you know, the Chamber of Commerce, etc., all of these different major organizations that have been lobbying for, whether if they can't, uh, you know, get more you know, quote unquote, legal immigration, um, uh, as per uh, you know, with the you know these comprehensive immigration reform plans, and they want to get amnesty for illegal immigrants. And if they can't get that, they want to just keep the government from enforcing our immigration laws, so as they can get uh, uh, you know unbridled uh, access to the illegal alien workforce. I mean, that's what they view them like, right? And they're able to pay them, uh, you know, uh, either under minimum wage or right there, uh, you know. But nobody is actually, uh, you know, uh, seeing any. Uh, and, and the effect is, is that a Americans aren't getting those jobs, and if Americans are lucky enough to get one of those jobs that an illegal immigrant or one of these. Uh, you know, illegal immigrants that are brought in uh, via an increase uh, a, 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 as dictated by, uh, you know, federal policy, they're, uh, you know, uh, not seeing their wages rise because they're competing against a whole workforce that's willing to work for nothing, basically. And that's what we're seeing, like, in STEM, STEM wages, people working in science, technology, engineering, math, right? Those wages, computer programmers, have been flat. Jeff Sessions has been great about this. Trump has been great about this. They've been flat, and this is what it does, Matt. It doesn't help the people brought in. It keeps wages flat for everybody. Because here's the thing: normally with these jobs, if they weren't hiring at eight bucks an hour, as an employer, you have to offer nine bucks an hour. And then if that doesn't work, you offer ten bucks. But what they do is they get people who keep working at that minimum wage, and they get employees who are controlled, and people are sick of it because they realize these big corporations have combined with big government. Sankun Gare from the, uh, the Young Turks, leftist, right, leftist, he said in an interview with me at the RNC, there's no one more establishment than Hillary Clinton. He, the people on the left get this now. Mm-hmm. They're starting to get it. This is not a typical Democrat versus Republican election. This is the establishment versus the people. 
And like I say, I'm as uh, proud as I can be to say that Breitbart is on the side of the people. And and really, this is a this is a huge election. Every they say it every election. This is it, though. This is the election that really determines the future of the country. And uh, Twin Falls, like you said, is an absolute case study in it. And that's why we're putting in the resources here. As goes Twin Falls, goes the country. And people really need to pay attention to what's going on here. All right. Well, Lee Stranahan, one of our lead investigative reporters, joined, uh, thank you for joining us here from Twin Falls, Idaho. Uh, we're we're going to be following this uh, 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 daily here on Breitbart News Daily between now and the election because this is what the election is about. Uh, you know, if you vote for Hillary Clinton, we're going to be going down more of that road. Uh, you know, the status quo in an exacerbation of the status quo. If you vote for Donald Trump, this is all going to stop. Uh, that's what this election's about. It's a clear choice. It's a referendum election.